Hi, I'm Jose. I'm the mind behind Fear Me, and thanks for checking out this Kickstarter. I wanted... what? Hey! My name's Jose, and I'm the mind behind... <sighs> Fear Me. I wanted to say thank you for your... What? What? No, I'm not doing this drunk. Welcome to Beer Me, where your friends try to get you drunk before you even play the game. Oh, this is great. Alright. Beer Me is definitely a drinking game. It is made for uh, three to eight of your most degenerate friends, and it takes about an hour or so to play if you don't get too sidetracked. You roll a die, you move your piece across the board, and then if you get to finish before everyone else, uh, you win. That's it. It's super simple, right? Except it's not because it's a drinking game, and because it's a drinking game, we all embrace each other through ridicule and shame. Whoever has sex most recently drinks five. Who has sex most recently? <laughs> so every square is either an action, a challenge, or a beer me. Uh, the action squares are pretty familiar. Uh, they're going to be very straightforward with what they have you do. You're going to roll again, lose a turn, slap someone's ass. Take a selfie, really basic stuff. The challenges are where they get a little trickier. You can do things like guess uh, whose birthday is closest to your own, and if you're right, you give out a shot. Or you can do the always fun and classic uh, start a sentence and then keep it going around the table until somebody. Candy is my favorite candy because. Maple candy is my favorite candy because I'm. sexually. <laughs> Well, first off, she lost. <laughs> but I feel like she should get bonus points. <laughs> so, as you probably guessed, the real shit show begins when you land on the Beer Me squares. And no, seriously, they, they can be pretty terrible. Uh, they're definitely going to be what you think of whenever you're going to play the game. Think about things like, uh, have you slept with someone in the room? Can you dance well? How charged is your phone? And do you trust the person sitting next to you? Don't worry though, the really crazy stuff doesn't happen until the end, and it's not all bad. Some beer me squares actually do give you a shot at advancing faster or doing things to the group if you're a drinking game pro. I really, really believe in this game, and I had a ton of fun actually making the thing. Actually, I had a lot of fun making this video, just in general. But uh, I, I really, really think that you're going to have a great time if you play it and get your hands on it. Uh, I actually believe in this game so much that I flew to Orlando from Texas to be with my friends and to actually help promote the video, uh, promote the game, and some other stuff while I'm here. Uh, and that way some people can get their hands on it early and check it out. And everyone's response has been great. Everybody really loves it, wants to play it again. Don't swallow! Don't swallow! <laughs> years and years of playing games, going to parties, social events, bars, clubs, festivals, pirate invasions, hashing. Oh my god, I've, I've, I've had the great fortune of being able to socialize and meet every kind of drinker, and it's definitely helped ensure that the uh, pace and the gameplay in Beer Me are going to be real smooth and entertaining, and a lot of things are going to feel really familiar. Whether it's a pregame, a party, a game night, or a taco Tuesday, you will definitely escalate the night as soon as you bring Beer Me out. Buying this game will provide you with many, many hours of fun and plenty of stories to go along with it. I really cannot thank you enough for watching this, and I really, really hope you enjoy the game as much as I did in making it. Cheers, guys.